So this video is all about inventory and organization, which I didn't really have very much organization up until <laughs> just now. Um, this is a little bit embarrassing. I'm just, I'm going to be straight up and honest. Um, I don't know what happened. I think it was just a situation where I didn't realize that the endeavor that I was undertaking was going to kind of take off the way that it did. So this is literally just me kind of putting it all out there. Uh, what my inventory and organization looked like prior uh, to actually getting some type of a system in place and what it looks like now. And it, and I still have a ways to go. I, I, I It's not complete, but I'm going to take you through it. This has taken a couple of weeks to put together so you can see where we start and where we finish. So I'm just taking you on a little tour through my, what I call the eBay room. Uh, as you can see, it is a series of bins and boxes. Oh, it's embarrassing. This, it really is embarrassing because I started off with just some bins stacked on top of that's a bed and then everything kind of grew so quickly and exponentially and I kind of it kind of just got out of control so now I've got stacks of shoes I've got boxes with shoes I've you know this is the jeans bin so I have like a general system I kind of know where everything's at but <laughs> it's just getting to the point where I've got to do something different. So the plan is we're getting rid of this bed. The bed is going to be going to um, an organization here in our county that helps families in our community. So we're going to be getting rid of that. And I'm also going to be putting in some shelving. So this is just the before. So you guys can kind of see where we are starting from. And hopefully where we end here, hopefully in a few weeks. So phase one was to get all of the bins and boxes off the bed, which I have done. They are sitting in my son's room. He had some empty area, so we went ahead and just moved everything out there. So the next phase is to get all of the extra stuff, the little stuffed animals and golf clubs and things off of the bed so we can get this bed moved out. And then hopefully next phase will be the bring in the shelving. So officially completely empty. So now this mattress has to go down two flights of stairs and store in the basement until it is time for the organization to come and pick it up. So that's okay. In the meantime, I am basically going to start thinking about what I want to do with this stuff. I have some other boxes. I think I'm going to go ahead and get it in there and just try to clear this out as much as possible. What the goal and the plan is, is to put shelves on this wall on this wall right here is to put shelving as far up as I can go. And then that's where all of the bins will um, be housed. So the mattress and the box frame are out. They're actually in the hallway and in my son's bedroom, but not too bad. I just got to get that frame broken down and that's part of my son and my daughter's crib. So that's got to go back and join the rest of those pieces that go with it downstairs. So we are almost ready for shelving. Oh my gosh, you can see the floor. It's so beautiful. my room is no longer clean and notice those are the airwalk boots yeah she took them. um hey guys are you planning on coming in here and picking up all the stuff that you just left all over the floor in the room that was just clean so we are on the way to Lowe's I've got the kidlet in the back with me and we are going to pick up a gigantic shelving unit to put on that wall where the bed used to be and I'm also going to pick up a fan because right now I just have like the well, we call it the nipple light because that's what it looks like. But um, we're going to switch that out with a fan because I feel like air circulation in a room full of used shoes is probably a wise decision. So we're going to head out, get that done, and then we're going to start putting this stuff together and getting these bins back in business. So we got the shelving that's going to go up later today. And then we stopped at a couple of Goodwills. And this little one right here, good luck charm. Oh my gosh, she found like a vintage Disney bag, a Jake pirate ship, and then I found a pair of halflingers, which I've never seen before. I have a feeling she's gonna be like coming with me, I think. Yeah. So uh, that escalated quickly. Now it is a time to put all of this together with the littles right there and the dog and everybody wanted to be in this photo and the shoot. And the oh yes, that too. Uh -huh. Hello, and the milk. Oh, yeah. And the doll. Oh, okay. 
So go. here we are, and now we have to take all these pieces and put them together. It claims that it's like a 20 minute, 30 minute deal. So yeah, we're just gonna take a little break and then we'll do the next shelf. Almost there, two more to go. One more shelf to go and we are in business. So that 20 to 30 minutes, I'm gonna call BS on that, but it looks pretty darn amazing. So I am very excited to start getting things loaded up on here and get some organization happening. So this is just phase one is just getting this built and up. And the goal is I'm gonna get the bins, these right here, these bins, because they fit really well in there. And they're a lot, there's a lot more to them. Like this one is just, a, this is a 50 quart. And I think those are, I have, oh, 80 quarts. So I want to upgrade to, to these uh, for the entire rack because I think I can fit everything on here. Right now with everything kind of being scattered, it's tough to fit everything in there. But I got a good amount of it on the rack so I at least can start doing some um, better inventory organization here. So here we go. Just to give a quick little update on where we are on the shelving, I have inventoried, put hands on every single piece of clothing, every single pair of shoes that's up here. There's A through I bin so far that I have actually gone through, written down, and I'm kind of old school. So I actually have these inventory cards and I wrote down every single thing that's in this bin. And obviously this will be put into a spreadsheet. So when something sells, I can just go ahead and search the name of it and then pull it up and find out which bin it's in. This is just, I'm old school again. I'm an 80s baby, so I have to write stuff down. So that's kind of how I'm going right now. I cannot find these gasket bins anywhere. I literally got the last six at a Target like randomly out in the middle of nowhere. So I went and picked those up. So I'm literally stuck. I cannot find any more of these. So I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda keep trucking along with my old bins and then I can transfer out when I find more of those Sterilite 80 quart gasket bins. So I found more bins, but there's one little problem. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna have to just go with it. Oh my gosh, the color is different and it's gonna drive me nuts, but at least they're all the 80 quarts and they're all the gasket bins. It's gonna be okay. I'm just gonna have to suck it up. So here it is, all of the bins. And now I'm just going to go ahead and start typing up these inventory cards. And I also have some bins here, and this is just gonna be overflow. And then I have a shoe tree behind the door that basically is gonna be for all new inventory. So that's where we're rolling. But I'm really happy with this. And I feel like, number one, I've put my hands on every single piece of inventory that's on this shelf and in these bins over here. And so I know where everything's at now and I'm not gonna be spending 35 minutes looking for a pair of shoes to answer a question that somebody might have. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. So yeah. So there you have it. Uh, I am now somewhat organized, okay? Um, and I think it's hilarious that <laughs> I had all of this stuff just like all over the place. And the thing that's really gonna set me over is the different colored handles on the bins. Um, but I think what's important here is no matter how big or small you are, get some type of inventory system in place. Uh, even at the start, even if you only have a couple of dozen things, get something in place so that what happened to me doesn't happen to you, which is abject chaos and things strewn all over the place. No idea where stuff is. I literally had people sending me questions about shoes and I would spend 30 minutes looking for a single pair of shoes and then they wouldn't buy it. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, what did I just do? I just like wasted a half an hour, half hour of my life. But get something together because, and I'm not gonna say if, I'm gonna say when, when your business scales up, when your business starts to really take off, you're gonna be so happy that you have that inventory structure in place because I know from personal experience and sucking at inventory and organization, I really wish that I would have had a better system in place so that I would not have had to take all this time the last several weeks 
and just, you know, go through all of this stuff. I wish that I would have just done this to begin with. So I hope, I hope that me exposing my horrible, awful, and terrible uh, inventory and organization strategies and my just lack of being able to keep track of everything, I hope that you will learn from my mistakes and do something different. So I will see you guys on Saturday Sourcing.